Hi, my name is Aaron Solomon. I'm with Frontier Fire Protection. I'm sitting here with Josh Tanner with AutoCall and really just like to have a conversation about a few things that we all have in our mind when it comes to what is AutoCall and what's the brand, what is the name? Because let's face it, it's somewhat new to the industry when it comes to people that aren't aware of it, but yet the name itself, AutoCall, has been around for decades. And Johnson Controls reintroduced it about four years ago and brought the brand back and rebranded itself as being able to sell this product uh, to the, the rest of the, 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 the fire alarm community and other, whether it's a, a, um, an owner of a building or a contractor, electrical, a general contractor, anybody that needs a fire alarm system, AutoCall is there. So really, Josh, what is AutoCall? No, glad you asked. And it's a common question. As you said, you know, we've been, we released this four years ago. And uh, basically, Johns Controls has taken their technology that they've used for probably half a century and now made it available through our partners. Um, with that, they're utilizing the same 4100 ES, 4010 ES, 4007 ES, and even the uh, True Alert addressable notification. So, same product uh, capabilities and you know, new name and new distribution method. We all know that it's pretty popular down here in, in our area in South Florida where we're having a lot of electrical and general contractors very interested in using the product because of that support. Um, and one of the things that is brought up a lot of times in conversation is compatibility yeah. um, to other Johnson Controls products and, and especially a lot of these addressable systems like the 4100, the 4010, the 4007, and some of the other Johnson Control legacy systems, whether there's compatibility. So can you take auto call parts and, 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 or systems and are they compatible with Legacy Johns Controls products? No, so AutoCall is a standalone system on its own, and it's, you know, it, it same technology, but no, it is not intended to function with legacy systems. When it comes to the product itself, I mean, is it widely available to everybody in the market? I mean, can you walk into any supply house? Can you just pick up the phone and call Johnson Controls and say, hey, I want to get a 4007 panel, and, and here are all the devices I need? I mean, how exactly does one have the ability to, number one, become a dealer? And number two, how do you get the product? Yeah, so that's another good question, Aaron. Glad you asked. So, yeah, we definitely have a, a strict vetting process to make sure that we're bringing on partners that uh, have values that align with Johnson Controls. And also, you know, probably the most important aspect when we're looking to add partners is making sure that those partners are really keyed in on customer success customer support, mm -hmm. um, just customer focus, because you know we know that as the world continues to change, there's nothing that's more important than taking care of the customer. Um, when it comes to installation and service aspect, let's face it, we've got people that have to go through training, we go through training, so yep. that way we can at least talk intelligently about the product and, and what's difference about, uh, about this system versus other systems and what we can do when it comes to designing and building a system. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is actually having quality trained technicians and installers. So number one, I'd like to hit on exactly what that training entails. And number two, can we talk a little bit about the programming aspect? I mean, can a, a, a factory trained, auto call trained technician work on a legacy Johnson Controls product? Um, and vice versa, can a, a legacy Johnson Controls technician that works for JCI come and work an auto call system? Yeah, um, so two good questions. When it comes to training, you know, we have training labs in multiple locations across the country where your technicians are going to come to our lab. They're actually going to get hands-on experience in most scenarios, uh, learning how to program these systems. We have made some really necessary changes to that those programs during COVID, uh, making virtual options available, which a lot of customers have liked because of the fact mm -hmm. that, you know, that reduces the inconvenience. Um, but hands-on experience is always something that we're gonna recommend. And then the, the second aspect to that is you're absolutely right. You know, you're going to learn on the same equipment, same Johnson Controls technology. Um, but if you're an auto call technician, no, you can't program mm -hmm. the legacy Johns Controls addressable systems. And vice versa. Yeah, and vice versa, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And they're not going to be able to program uh, John, uh, auto call systems either. Yeah, perfect. All right. Well, I appreciate you, Josh. Definitely. Thank All you. Right.